Good morning to you. Welcome to News Views once again. I'm Alan Krzyzewski. Well, today we're going to hear some of the different opinions about whether the 2016 Summer Olympic Games are actually a good idea for Chicago or not. I don't think that we were trying to hide anything. We were trying to figure it out. We were trying to determine the course of action, the appropriate course of action. That comments from Patrick Ryan after he and other 2016 Olympic bid officials briefed some skeptical Chicago aldermen over this past week in private meetings. At issue here, one of the issues I should say, is the mayor's promise that the city will take full financial responsibility for these games. Yes, we're going to sign it. But when? I'm not signing it until the council reviews it, the public reviews it, all the way till October in September. You get all of July, August, and September. This is not signed. Adding to the guarantee substantially adding to the guarantee so that the city council, the mayor, and the public are very comfortable that we have adequate protection for the taxpayers. The mayor and the bid committee are saying that they're confident that an insurance plan will cover any financial overruns. Now, Alderman Joe Moore represents the residents of Rogers Park, Edgewater, and also West Ridge. He was at one of those meetings this past week with the Olympic bid officials and Pat Ryan. Tom Tresser joining me today as well. Tom is from the group No Games Chicago. I think you can tell by the title of that organization where he stands on the particular idea of the 2016 Games coming to Chicago. But gentlemen, I want to welcome you both uh, to News Views this morning. Well, it's good to be here. Alderman, I'm going to start with you because it seems like, uh, and admittedly so, that the Chicago Bid Committee was caught off guard by the IOC's insistence that Chicago sign this contract, which makes the city financially responsible if there are cost overruns, uh, in Switzerland. It looks like they were totally caught off guard by this. Well, I don't know if they were caught off guard, but certainly the city council was caught off guard and the taxpayers of the city of Chicago were caught off guard. Because up until a, a week ago, we were under the impression that um, under a worst case scenario, if there were cost overruns with the Olympics, that the city and its taxpayers would be on the hook for five hundred million dollars uh, and we were assured that was it that was the uh, ultimate potential liability we had now we find out that the mayor has agreed that he will sign a contract an agreement with the International Olympic Committee that will potentially leave the city uh, with unlimited liability. It's an open-ended liability? It's an open-ended liability, and that is something that uh, concerns a great many of us in the city council, including myself. You know, uh, two years ago when we gave preliminary approval and we authorized the mayor to negotiate on behalf of the city, uh, the world was a lot different. We didn't have uh, a near economic collapse that hadn't occurred yet. Uh, we didn't have these ballooning city budget deficits with all the layoffs taking place. We didn't have the fiasco involving the city parking meter lease deal. And uh, it's a much different world today. And with this news that this mayor is going to agree to leave the city open-ended in terms of liability, uh, that's given us a lot of uh, a lot of us in the city council uh, time for some second thoughts. Did you hear anything in the private meetings you had with Pat Ryan and any other members of the bid committee that helped to uh, to ease those fears? And we concerns? heard nothing that wasn't already out in the media. Uh, when they first uh, uh, said that they were going to leave, you know, the mayor first agreed that he was going to leave the city uh, with an open-ended liability or he's going to agree to that. Uh, there were all these assurances that there were these insurance policies in place and other uh, uh, steps in place to prevent any uh, cost overruns from affecting the city taxpayers. And yet we find out through the media and through these private briefings that that hasn't been put together yet. So uh, right now, um, I think we're back to square one as far as I'm concerned. Well, Let me, I want to bring you in here, Tom, and uh, I want to ask you, first of all, uh, we're talking about one particular aspect of this, of course, and you have many other points, I'm sure, in terms yes. of your point of view that you want to get across. But let me ask you just with regard to this aspect of it, what's happened here in the past couple of weeks in Swi Switzerland and since then over at City Hall with regard to whether the city should bear the financial <laughs> liability uh, for cost overruns? Yeah, well, the alderman says that the world has changed uh, financially for America, but the world has not changed for the Olympics. This is well known way in advance. And if the aldermen didn't do their due diligence, we can't help that. But no, well, Tom, wait, before no, you, Tom, no, before you go through, the, no, before you say that, that is absolutely not true. No. If you look at the ordinance that authorized the mayor um, to uh, go forward. Yeah, but let me get my that, uh, point that, out that, here, Joe. Well, Come you, on. You, but, you know, but let Tom, me get my point out. I mean, let I, me, let me well, finish Tom, before I you jump in I won't on let me. you get your point well, out when you say something that Tom, is incorrect. Well, Tom, was it, was it a matter of the bid committee? Or was it a matter it's, of the old? Hey, I did research for an hour on the internet to discover the whole city contract requires you to go all in. It's all or nothing with the IOC. And if the, uh, the alderman didn't ask, and if the IOC didn't tell, and if the 2016 didn't tell, 
That's not our problem. Okay. Well, so, what's, what's what's your opinion? So, the, what, so okay, go ahead. So, what I, my point is this: it is not news to us, the, to the folks in No Game Chicago, who are just citizens who have just access to the internet, about this uh, blank check issue. It wasn't news to us. We've been talking about it since January. Now. This is the situation we're in. The mayor has, wishes to sign a blank check. Will the city go along with it? All right, we're going to take a, a brief pause right sure. now. We'll come right back and pick up on this discussion right after this in just a moment.